SNL, Melissa McCarthy crashes weekend update as Michael Che's stepmom, watch, love it. Melissa McCarthy was Michael Che's hilariously obsessive stepmom on SNL. Check it out right here. Saturday Night Live did it again. During this week's installment of Weekend Update, none other than Melissa McCarthy, 47, showed up to help celebrate Mother's Day by portraying Michael Che's, 34, sweet and totally neurotic stepmom. She first popped in, wearing a bright pink sweatshirt with a baby pic of Michael on the front, to give him a clarity because she said he sounded kind of froggy. As soon as she pulled up a chair, she began to hilariously cling to Michael. Where did these shoulders come from? I don't know. Just keep going. You were doing a joke about Judy Rudini. And I don't know who she is but I can't wait to laugh. Later, Michael asks her to reach a joke, which she soon discovers is a touching message, just for her. Hilarious and super sweet. This moment is almost as hilarious as the April 15th episode in which the comedy team addressed former director of the FBI James Comey's new book A Higher Loyalty. Truth, lies, and leadership. In it, he claims Trump brought up that infamous Pete allegation, claiming he's far too big of a germaphobe to have prostitutes to urinate on each other in a hotel in Moscow, which is what the Christopher Steele dossier alleges. That's when Michelle offered this amazing response. First of all, you can't call yourself a germaphobe when you're out there raw dogging porn stars. This is clearly a reference to Stormy Daniels alleging that when she and Trump had sex, they didn't use a condom. Also, Paying hookers to pee on each other while you hang back and watch is exactly something a germaphobe would do. Just amazing. And SNL doesn't just take shots at Trump. They also poked fun at Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg after it was revealed that the tech giant accidentally allowed the private information of 87 million users to land in the wrong hands. Zuck, played to perfection by Alex Moffat, dropped by Weekend Update on April 7th to address the issue. And when he wasn't making bizarre jokes or scream laughing, he was offering up this, incredibly terrible, apology. America, look me in my shark eyes when I say this, that on behalf of Facebook, I am sorry, on opposite day, yikes.